Welcome back to Set to Six Gaming and part 16, finally, of the Final Fantasy VII video walk. Well, it's, I say it's a walkthrough, but it's kind of like a playthrough. Now, in the last episode, if you remember, things went down, the weapons awoke, Sephiroth got his hands on the Black Materia, and after all the scenes play out, you'll find yourself here, which is Junon. Barrett and Tifa have been taken prisoner by the Shimra, and the plan is basically to execute Tifa to kind of give the people someone to blame, if you know what I mean. But before that can happen, we're going to have some interference. As you can see, this journalist here turns out to be Kate Sith. The very confused Kate Sith. But yeah, Kate Sith's going to keep an eye on the entrance, and you as Barrett have got to try and get Tifa out of the room. Uh, once you get there, you're going to quickly realise that there's no way that Barrett's getting Tifa out of that room. And in the meantime, it shows us what's been going on on the outside. So the reason why everything started going to hell is because one of the weapons is attacking Junon. And there's not very much to do at the minute. We will get control of the characters soon. And then we will have a few bits and pieces to do. Now the Shimmer Troops decide to take a pot shot at weapon with the Junon cannon, but it doesn't really do it. We've got Shinra troops lining the streets, firing at weapon. And then finally, we're going to switch back to Tifa. Now, you're going to be in control of Tifa, and what you have to do is you have to use different body parts to kind of reach for the keys. And then use the keys to get yourself free. It's pretty intuitive. There's no time limit on it as far as I can tell. I've never failed it, at least, so... I don't think it's possible to fail it. I'm not saying, oh, look how good I am. I, I genuinely just don't think it's possible to fail it. But before that, you're going to take control of Barrett again. You're going to head outside and we're going to run into Yuffie. So we've got a three-man team now, well, a three-person team now of Kate Sith, Barrett and Yuffie. But in all honesty, there's not really much to go on. I mean, there's a couple of random encounters, but, you know, just throw whatever gear exchange you set up from one of your other characters whoever you had in your party previously just switch things over I mean realistically you can just put an enemy skill on each one of them and you'll be fine and then you're going to head back through the building back past the training area from earlier on where Cloud was getting trained for the parade uh, and then Barrett's going to kind of have a last stand at the high wind type of thing And then we're going to cut back to Tifa, who's still going to be in that awkward position. Now, I'm going to try and remember this off the top of my head. It's XX to do the legs. And then she needs to sit up so it's triangle. And then, I want to say it's X and triangle, yeah. And then triangle and circle. I think I try it here. Uh, yeah, there we go. I'll put it up on screen anyway, along with the video, just so that you've got it all there. And then obviously press circle again and you'll undo your right arm. And then run over into this corner here and you'll be able to deactivate the gas. Now Tifa's going to try and open the same door that Barrett failed to open. Which obviously isn't going to go well, but then Weapon's going to come to the rescue and give Tifa a bit of an escape route. How Tifa survives this unscathed, no idea. But, moving on. It's a pretty weak attack as well for a weapon. I'm, I'm disappointed in this weapon. Pop. And that's the end of that. But what that's done is, that's give Tifa an escape route. So Tifa's going to be able to get out of that room now. And it, it's 
completely linear this section now. There's no way that you can get it wrong or get lost or anything like that. So you're just going to keep on climbing down here. And eventually you'll reach this section and run to the end of the canyon. Now, I almost edited this out and redid it, but no, no, I'm going to own it. I lost the slap fight. I've not lost the slap fight very often. I think I've lost it like three or four times in the many, 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 many runs of Final Fantasy VII that I've done. But yeah, Steve got bitch slapped. As you can see, I start strong, but then for some reason I just freeze up and, and I never get control again after that. It seems to be the case with this. Once you've lost the control of the slap fight, you've lost control of the slap fight and that's it. As long as you can keep it together from the start, you win reasonably easily. Then out of nowhere, Barrett's going to come to the rescue. And we just got a new vehicle, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, we're done with the bugger. We're done with the tiny Bronco. It's all about the high wind now. Although we may need... Do we need the buggy for anything else? I can't remember. We may need the buggy for something else. And I don't, I'm pretty sure we're done with the tiny Bronco. But we're getting closer and closer to the day where we get a gold chocobo and nothing else matters. So there you go. After this, you get a bit of a familiarisation with the high wind. You kind of chat to a few people. Sid kind of gives you the lowdown. Speak to all of the party and kind of get their ideas on what's going on and what we should do next as a party. And then once you've done all of that, you just come and talk to this pilot kid here. Now Sid will tell you in the first instance that it's not ready, you need to go and sort your gear out. So what you're going to do is you're going to run down to the middle area, not this middle area, I just wanted to go and give Nanakai a little rub. New rub for the Nanakai. Trash dog. Little rub for the trash dog. So you're going to head over there, and here we have the operation centre. It's handily marked with a giant red sign that says the word operation on it, so yeah. Then come and chat to this guy and he's everything that you need all in one. He's a save point, he's a PHS, and he's a, he's a tent, basically. You can restore all your HP and MP there. Once you've got your party put together, head back to the pilot and he's been promoted to a level 4 pilot now. So he is capable of something. I'm not sure what, but something. Now, we're free. We can do what we do again. We need to go and find Cloud. Cloud's missing. But first things first. Yeah, you knew it. It's Fort Condor. It's been a while. Now we left them with a lot of money, so we're going to get some rewards from them when we get there just for the battles that they've won in the time that we've not been here. And then after you've done another battle, you're going to get another reward, which is three elixir. And you want to make sure that these have got 3,000 gil, roughly. Uh, I think I've left them with, yeah, I've left them with 10,000. They need enough for one battle, basically. As long as you've left them with that, you'll be fine. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to head to the Northern Continent and we're going to go and see the Chocobo Sage. Now, the reason we're going to go and see the Chocobo Sage is because he has got the fourth and final enemy skill material that we can pick up. It's not strictly necessary. I mean, you can only have three people in your party at any one time. There's the exception of the final battles where you can have the party split up. But yeah, run over to the Chocobo, give him a little tickle. It'll drop you an enemy skill material. And the next thing you want to do is we're going to go and get the third and final elemental materia that we can pick up. If you head to Tifa's house in Nibelheim, go up to the piano, and as long as you said I jammed on it in the flashback sequence with Cloud, you'll get another elemental materia. Next, we're going to head to the Chocobo farm. I'm going to grab the Chocobo law materia there, just because it's nice to have a spare. You don't need it. But then come and see Choco Billy. And we're going to grab some greens. Uh, if I remember right, it's Giashal greens or Mimic greens. Mimic greens, there we go. We're going to grab some Mimic greens and you need them for the next area that we're going to go to in the store. I'll explain later. Just trust me. Grab a couple of Mimic greens. And then the only other thing that I'd really do now is you can run to this island here. It's a bit of desert. It's in the southwest corner of the map. And you can encounter Cactuars here. Now, you can get a reasonable amount of gill out of them. 
Uh, you can also morph them for a nice piece of armor, but that's something we'll do at a later date, I think. In the meantime, however, we're going to call this episode quits and we're going to pick it back up with the search for Cloud. Thanks very much for watching. I hope this one wasn't too boring because it was a lot of cutscenes in the early half of it. We didn't get much done until the latter half of the video. But we're genuinely reaching the point where everything's opening up now and we're going to have so many things to do. So many little side quests to do, so many little missions to do. I'm probably going to break it down so that each side quest gets its own episode. So we'll do a full episode of breeding a chocobo from nothing to gold. We'll do a full episode of wiping out the battle arenas, things like that. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. Check out other videos on the channel, drop a like and subscribe. But more importantly than anything, have a great day.